Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Visual Tail Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these ribbon earrings. These ribbons are easy to make and I'll show you step by step how I'm making them. I'm using the famous brick stitch that I was showing with Delica beads but this time I will show with regular beads as you asked me in one of my videos. And if you're not familiar with the brick stitch don't worry I will show you really easy step by step and I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself. You could put them on the Christmas presents, on the Christmas tree, not only as earrings and you could put them on a chain. So you could use them in so many ways. Now if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, Amazon links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are really simple stuff. I use 11 o seed beads in two colors and you could use 10 o's if you want. And here I use ear wires and this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors and these are pliers, flat nose pliers, but they are not obligatory. If, only if I need to go through difficult beads then I use them. Okay, so now I'm going to take 1.2 meters of thread on my needle, which is 4 feet of thread, and I'm going to start. Okay guys, and I'm going to start making uh, the center of my ribbon. And in order to do this, I'm going to take 4 of these beautiful golden beads. Okay, I have 4 of them, and I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread and here I'm going to make a knot and in order to make a knot I will make here a loop go twice through the loop I've made and I'm going to pull okay and I'm going to make one more knot just to be sure that everything is secure okay guys now I have this and in my next step I will go through two of my four beads and I'm going to take two more beads okay like that and I'm going back in circle through them just like this Okay, now I'm exiting out of this golden bead and what I want to do is take two more goldens and I will go back in circle through these two beads. Okay, now I have this. I have this and what I need to add is only one bead right here. Okay, and I will add it by going through all of those beads like this. Take just one bead here and go back in circle through these two beads. Okay, now I have my third bead added. Okay, and I have this. And now from here guys, I will start the famous brick stitch. You ask me if you can use it with regular beads. Yes, in this tutorial, I'm using it not with delicate beads, but with regular beads. Okay, and I will start it by taking two. I will flip my work this way because it's easier for me. And I will take two red beads and I will go here you see between those two bits there is a thread bridge it's not visible because I'm using monofilament but there it is maybe you will see it when I pull my needle here 
and I'm going under it okay then in my next step I will go through the bead that's closest to my needle and closest to my to the center of my work okay and now guys I have these two beads attached here okay then I'm going to take one more red bead and I'm going through the following thread bridge between the next two beads there I also have a knot but I will go anyways okay and then I'm going through the same bead so under the thread bridge and through the following bead okay and then I'm going to take one more red bead and go under this very same thread bridge that I've been through in my last step okay I'm going through it and after that I'm going also through this red bead here so when I pull I have this these are four beads attached to my three beads here and this is how I'm starting my work okay now I will flip my work and continue with the brick stitch in this row I will have five beads so one bead more than in the previous row and how I'm doing this I'm taking two beads going here through the first thread bridge when I expand brick, brick stitch I always go through the first uh, brick stitch and here I will show you only expanding I have other tutorials when I show decrease of the brick stitch not increase but decrease okay so here I add two beads and two, one of them is sticking out a little bit then I'm taking one more going through the following thread bridge and back to it through it okay like this then one more go through the following brick stitch only the first two beads I add together and then I add them one by one and here remember that at the end of the row I add only I add one more bead through the same thread bridge through the last thread bridge so in the first and in the last thread bridge I add two beads here I, in the beginning I add them together and here one by one okay now it's easier for me to flip my work and in the next row I will have six beads okay at take two go through the first thread bridge like that go through the one that's closer to my to the center of my work okay then take one more and continue this until the end of this row okay guys and here I just added uh, the sixth bit from uh, this row this is the third row and I will continue doing this until I have nine rows and my ninth row when I increase them with one bead at each row will consist of 12 beads okay so this is my fourth row I will show you how I'm doing this and I'll let you do this until the end of this row okay watch me do this row faster okay guys and here I'm adding my last bead from this row I'm adding it like I did before okay I have this I have four rows here and the last one consists of seven beads and as I told you I need to have nine rows and the last one will consist of 
12 bits okay i'll do this off camera and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here where i have one two three four five six seven eight nine red rows and here i have 12 bits one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and this is the twelfth one so this is what you should have nine rows and 12 bits in the last one okay so i'm adding it here and now in order to to finish this part of my work i'm going to add golden beads okay take three goldens go through the following seed bead like this and pull now i have this then go here in the next red one like this take three okay then go here in the following and pull then in the next one And now guys, I will continue this and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Just like this. Now I have this and now I will continue up to here. Through all of my beads. exiting out of the other side of my work and here you could use your pliers and now guys i'm going to start the same thing from here and i will show you the first two rows okay i'm taking two beads going under this thread bridge here like that and then go in the second seed bead that's closest to the center of my work then take one more bead go here go back through it one more bead go under the last three thread bridge okay and again through this seed bead and pull it and fix it then it's easier for me to flip my work again i expand so i take two seed beads go through the very first thread bridge like this go through the second seed bead here on my way Pull tight and fix one more okay guys now i have this my second row is ready and i will make seven more rows which means nine in total like i have here so i will repeat the same thing if you forgot how i did it just rewind the video and see how i'm doing this part and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here at my ninth row where i'm adding my last 12 bit from this row as i told you before okay nine rows 12 beads okay okay and now 
I will start making my edge like I showed you before. Okay, I will show you the first two steps and then I will let you do this by yourself and I'll be back to tell you how to attach your ear wire when you finish this row. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, so here I'm adding my last three beads from this row, like this. And now I'm going to show you how to attach your ear wire. Okay, and I want to go through four beads from here. Okay, I'm going through one and then through three more beads, like this. So now I'm here four beads away from my edge and five beads away from the center of my work. And now I'm going to take six golden beads. Okay, six beads here. This is what I have. And I'm going through this ear wire, slide this down. And then take more six more beads. Okay, I have my six again here. And I'm going through the same place, okay? I'm going through this bit that is four beads away from the edge of my work, okay? Here. And this should be in the middle, like this. And now, guys, I'm going to reinforce this part. I'm going through all of the beads here at the edge. This is not obligatory, but I prefer to reinforce it. Okay. And now I'm going one more time through all of those beads here. And in my last step, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And I will find a place, let's say here, go through a thread bridge between my beads, make a loop and go once then go second time through this loop you made pull then you could repeat this step several more times and when you make your last knot go through the following seed bead and cut your thread remember to never cut next to a knot but Always go through the following seed bead and then cut. Okay, guys, and now my festive Christmas ribbon is ready. Okay, guys, and now my festive beaded ribbon earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a fully list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, links to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.